Hello YouTube! I'm Mandy and this is Mandy's Makeup Adventures and this is the second video I'm doing in, well actually it's kind of the third video I'm doing this in an outfit but it's on the same night I promise I'm not like wearing the same outfit every damn day. This is my one with the salsa sleeves right yeah love it. So um, this video is my BoxyCharm Ipsy Plus for the month of September and a Sephora Favorites little thing that I got full of lippies. So this looks beat up and that's because I used all of this stuff when I was at the hospital. I grabbed the bag after a really quick shower and I thought if it's magical it will have a lot of the things that I need to do my makeup. <laughs> So, this was the first product um, up, and this is Probotic Blue Light Protection Cream, Best Face Forward. Um, it's beta Carotene Spiruleina Maxima Extract. That sounds like bullshit. I'm sure that, yeah, that sounds like bullshit, right? Yeah. But anyway, you know, blue light protector, I guess since we're on screens all the time, people think we need to protect our eyes or not our eyes. Jeez, what am I talking about? Our faces? I don't get how blue light's like attacking your skin. Is that really happening? I don't think that's happening. It says, let's see, it says it's probiotic though. Maybe that's doing something. It is cruelty-free, dermatologically tested, peroxide-free, paraben-free, but sadly not gluten-free. Uh, that's okay because I don't usually have a problem with gluten um, in skincare. So, after cleansing and toning, apply a generous amount onto skin. Use in the mornings. Huh. So that's interesting. I, this was the one product in the box that I have not tried yet. And that's just because I was thinking this could be bullshit, but I, <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know if it is or not. So I guess we'll see. When I run out of moisturizing cream, I suppose I'll put that one on. Okay, now this one I did use. This is from Sweet Chef. So remember, I'm doing skincare first, okay? This one is from Sweet Chef. It's turmeric plus vitamin C booster eye cream. It brightens and hydrates. Kursuma. Oh, no, no, no. Never mind. That's the Spanish. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not all there all the time, you know. Can't expect me to be can't expect, expect me to be perfect all the time. Jeez. Um, how to use after cleansing and before serum step, gently pat a pea sized amount on the entire orbital eye area using the ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to apply the eye cream. So this I had started to use and I'm really thrilled with that because I have, I'm running out of my last eye cream. This is a vitamin C booster eye cream and I love me some vitamin C cream. Um, I like that brightening effect. You really can't smell any kind of turmeric. Um, I used this several times in the hospital and I liked it a lot. So those are the skincare of the box. And that is like a celebration because both BoxyCharm and Ipsy, for some reason, you can say, I don't want any skincare. And that's what you're getting. Up next is a brush from Real Her. I like Real Her's brushes. I think I have a foundation brush from them. And it says on it, love what you do. And I love being a makeup artist, guys. I really do. I enjoy 
um, making these videos. It makes me happy. I love doing the giveaways. This is really soft. This is really soft. It was really hard for me when I was away from filming because I've I've started to feel uh, the therapy link um, of doing a beautiful sunset eye or a nice cut crease or something. It's, uh, it's therapeutic in a lot of ways, and it's, um, it's art. It's a way to express yourself. So um, I was real sad being away from that for so long, and I'm really happy to be back filming and I do love what I do. So this is a very nice brush, super soft. We'll have to see how it washes after I use it, but wow, wow. I like this. I might use this as my um, like finishing powder, um, something like that. Love it right into the brush collection. Up next is something that I'm kind of on the fence about, and this is from Uoma, and this is the Cleopatra Ink Blacker Than Black, y'all. Okay, so they had another one, a Cleopatra Ink, and it was gold packaging with blue writing and that one was a shaker this one is a pen i don't know i thought when i was in the hospital that this bled but it doesn't doesn't seem to be bleeding perhaps it was um just a fluke i don't know so we'll check this out because i know that uoma's Cleopatra ink, the one that was in the gold patch packaging with the blue writing, that was amazeballs. That was actually for my first video on this channel, on this whole big adventure. So I'll continue to use that. Now this one, this one right here, this is some awesome, awesome eyeshadow. This is from... Il Maquillage, and I'm just cleaning it up because it looked yucky. The packaging, y'all. It looks like Michael Kors. It's got that M in there, and it's it just looks so luxe. It's heavy, Il Maquillage printed on there. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see it from the side like that. Um, it's already gotten kind of dirty. I hate that it's a little bit dirty. But that's what she said. Might be in trouble for saying that. Can't talk like that around here. Okay. Do you see how pretty this is? This is like a plum um, color scheme. It is three shimmers or no, it's one matte, maybe two mattes. Gosh, I don't know what I'm talking about, guys. I'm tired. Um, I use this in the hospital every day. This and that liner, every day. And it was so easy to make a gorgeous eye look quickly and even at the hospital um, where you aren't comfortable you don't have your setup you're missing a lot of the things that you would normally use to do your makeup but it was just gorgeous and I guess so that this purple and this pink are the mattes and then these are the shimmers this one's like a purpley plummy brown and this one's a really pretty um, plummy uh, cream color. It's almost like a pink plum cream color. Absolutely gorgeous. Blends unbelievably well. 
I was extremely impressed. I do know that the quads from Il Maquillage are super expensive. It's effortless to make a beautiful look uh, with this palette. Okay, so that's our... Um, here, I'll pick them all back up. So this is what we got in Ipsy Plus for our $25 subscription. This badass quad, um, this really soft brush, a nice ink black liner, um, a face cream for blue light, and a turmeric and vitamin C eye cream. That's a lot for 25 bucks and um, it's totally worth it. Plus, in this one, you have the cute bag. I'm just saying it's very nice. Okay, so up next is Boxy Charm base box for the month of September. I got rid of the rest of my boxes, guys. I just was like, it's so much. So this one has the Glam Glow Youth Mud Glow Stimulating Treatment Mask. Big old uh, youth mud. I don't know if I'll keep that or not. That, it says it's anti-aging, fine lines, smooth, refine, and glow. Okay, fine. Probably I'll use it because, you know, I'm getting older. And that's, that's what your birthday starts to remind you of when you're like over 35. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Oh, by the way, oh, damn it. I can't, uh, I'm gonna, gonna let that go for a second. Anyway, um, this is a primer from Georgette Klinger. It's for all skin types. I really don't need any primers, so I'm gonna put that in the, um, giveaway bucket. It's actually just a giveaway box. We have a couple more things here from BoxyCharm. So this is called Quick Slick, Quick Slick, and it's supposed to tame the flyaways in your hair. I don't usually have a problem with that because I don't put my hair in ponytails. My daughter definitely does, so I'll probably have her use this and tell me how she likes it. Um, once I start growing my hair out a little bit and I put some extensions in, then I could probably use something like this too. So either way, we'll get a use out of it. Um, by the way, the Glam Glow mask is 60 bucks retail. The, uh, primer is $32 retail. Wow. And, um, insert name here, Quick Slick is $22. And up next, we have the Pinky Rose Cosmetics Multi-Use Makeup Base Sticks. Got these out and looked at them. I saw reviews and people were saying that they liked the, um, the cream colored one to prime the eyes. So I kind of thought maybe I might try that or for a cut crease area. Um, so that the cut crease area has a base. That's kind of cool. Um, and then I guess people were like, this is whatever. I actually think it's gorgeous. It's a really pretty copper. I'm, I don't usually use things like this, but you know, I'm br branching out, giving things a try. And that is, let's see, what's the MSRP on that is, that was $20. And the last thing in the box is from Half Caked. This is actually a boxy exclusive. And it is a brush. It says it's a duo fiber half caked brush. Looks like it might be nice for um, some sort of powder, maybe a highlight. Um, I guess they're saying it's a blush brush. I guess I, I guess you could use that for a blush brush. Um, 
And this is the blush. And I'm like, it's so light. I don't know. I don't think it's for me. My daughter seemed to uh, like the look of it. And this half-caked Best Friends Forever In Bloom Duo Fiber Brush Set is $22. So, here's the part where we break it down and say, was it worth it for me as far as, you know, do I like it? Do I like it compared to the Ipsy Plus for this month? No, I don't. I really loved the Ipsy Plus this month. I think that's the clear winner. Um, the BoxyCharm box is okay. I am kind of okay. I'm, I'm okay with getting the mask because that's a treatment and I don't have a billion of those. I have a billion primers and they put them in so many boxes. Dear BoxyCharm, please stop putting primers in every single box. It's like, ah, I can't have, I am so primed. I can't even handle it. Why don't you start putting like lashes in the boxes or something? Don't do that. And then we got this hair slick and I'm like, <clears throat> That only pertains to people who get flyaways, I guess. Maybe everybody gets flyaways. I know I guess I have a few um, with this uh, comb over kind of hairstyle, but I don't know. Um, this one from Pinky Rose is okay and I'm okay to try it. Um, this blush is way too light and I don't know why. Um, I hope that they I hope that they did some in different colors. So I don't know about that. And the last thing that I was going to talk about, I'm just throwing this in because I did not get to make like any videos. Um, I just haven't been able to make any videos. Um, this is a Sephora favorites uh, bundle and I've never gotten one. This I believe was like, $22 or something and you get a lot for that so the Huda this is the silk bomb I believe it's new um, this is a full size the milk makeup electric glossy lip plumper um, I think this is partial size because I know that they had two full size. And I believe that this Fenty Beauty Cream in Fenty Glow, um, this is a full size. I love this one. I wasn't going to tell you which ones I loved yet. Um, this is a Pat McGrath. It's called Flesh 6. It's kind of a little bricky for me. And then this is a tiny little NARS um, lip balm. And I like it. I, I like the color on the NARS. Um, I would rather have a full size NARS and no Pat McGrath for me. Um, it has a very large applicator. I don't know. Maybe we'll put... If we put some over top, you won't get an idea of what the color looks like. It's it's an okay um, lip thing, but I don't love it. I love this one, the Fenty Cream. I love the Huda Beauty Silk. Um, that is just so nice. And it's basically just... Um, it doesn't have color. But if you have color on your lips and you put it in there, you'll have a little color the next time you use it. It's just lovely when you put it on. It's, it is silk. It's silk for the lips, for sure. This one's kind of the same. It's very creamy. It's very nice. I really love it. I like the NARS. I have not used the Milk Makeup yet. I think that this is a new thing. It's the Electric Glossy Lip. So I will have to try this guy 
and let you know how that goes. The Pat McGrath, I'm not like, I don't love the color of it. I think that that's where this one went wrong. I think the formula is fine. So I, I like the Sephora favorites and I do think that if that one comes back up or if any Sephora favorites comes up, um, they're actually a pretty good deal. So, especially if you want to get that for somebody for Christmas, because I think that's a pretty cool little gift for somebody. They can get a whole sampling of um, the best that Sephora has in lips. All right, guys, uh, that's it for this episode. Um, the clear winner in the BoxyCharm Ipsy battle was Ipsy this month. And we'll see who wins next month. Um, and then I just kind of added the lippy thing in there because I want to start using them and I don't want to keep them in the box any longer. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I'm really pushing to try to get... Um, I'm really pushing to get a lot more subscribers and um, take a chance. I am planning some really awesome things, guys. I'm so excited to still be able to do this. I'm 200 videos in. I think it said 200 uploads. I'm pretty sure that's the same as videos. <laughs> I'm 200 uploads in and I am excited to see where we go from here. Um, I am really stoked about all kinds of things coming up. So subscribe.